Hello everybody and welcome back to the Singapore Hearthstone Major. My name is TJ and once again I am joined by Patra. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. We still have uh, a, a, a few matches left to go today until we find... Four, huh? Four? Uh, I think so, if I counted correctly. Um, because we have to play through a few lower semifinals. But uh, next match is a lower semifinal. This handsome guy versus Chonger. And both these players we've seen on stream and, you know, sort of for the rest of the time here, we're going to be seeing players again. Because there's not many left. I think there's five players remaining. So, like, what are the countries? So it's like Korea. There's one Korean guy left. It's handsome guy. And there's one Malaysian left. Yep. Chonger. And then uh, one player from the Philippines. That's Waning Moon. Mm -hmm. And must uh, be... Reptiles from Vietnam, I believe. And then there's uh, um, Shiny Pants. So Singapore. Wow. Yeah. So it's really down to just, like, five countries. Yeah. <laughs> that is correct. One player representing uh, each of the five countries remaining, I do believe. So, uh, pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool story. So we're, we're going to jump right into game number one here of this lower bracket semifinals. This is an elimination match. Losers out of the tournament. The winner moves on to the lower bracket finals. Handsome guy with the freeze mage and Chonger with is this oh, this is a Rena lock. This is the first time I'm actually casting a Freeze Mage and a uh, Arena Lock. <laughs> uh, wow, it is. It is Arena Lock. Wow. I think right? Chonger's Warlock's been banned a little bit. I don't I can't remember if we've seen this Warlock deck, but uh, actually, no, I think I think we casted. This might even be a rematch, uh, if I remember correctly, because uh, I think Lothar and I casted Arena Warlock versus Freeze Mage matchup yesterday. Um, but this matchup has a, takes a lot of finesse. Because you have to find a way to piece together enough damage to pressure the Arena Warlock into playing a lot of their heals before you play Alexstrasza. Which uh, is a tough thing to do. And Handsome Guy actually won the Freeze Mage Arena Lock battle that he played out uh, yesterday. So oh, okay. he knows how to play this matchup really well. well then hopefully Chonger knows how to play um, Handsome Guy's Freeze Mage. Yeah. The Twilight Drake. Can't go wrong with that. The Toilet Drake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You could play Twilight Drake, or you could uh, tap and play the Iron Beagle to deny some draws. Mm -hmm. uh, which has some merit, because you know that your opponent's going to ping next turn. So you'll, they'll get at least two draws from the Accolade of Pain. You could take away all of them. Yeah, but you'd forego um, building up a minion this turn. So your Owl's just going to die and. You don't have one. But Lothep's picked up, which is a really important card in this matchup. What about sa saving the Owl for, like, a Doom um, Sayer? Yeah, that's... Uh, well, you don't really... Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Of course, this deck will only run one Owl. Sometimes Reno Locks run Spellbreaker, but it's very rare. It's a second silence. So we're going to see here. We're going to see the Ice Block put up, or... Well, Forgotten Torch doesn't deal with the... Yeah, I think he's just going to ignore the... The Azure Drake. Uh, I mean, sorry, the <laughs> Twilight Drake. And just put a secret up and ping... And just all go face. Mm -hmm. Just pressure... Until he, Tronger decides to heal. Double torch face, torch face, coin torch face. <laughs> is that a good idea, though? <laughs> Seems good. I think it is a good idea. It's not a good idea. Uh, well, it looks like handsome guy wants to coin out the Emperor Thor sand. Uh, I mean, Emperor Thorsan's really just a 5-5 body here. You get the Alexstrasza, which you can use a turn sooner. Uh, but that's not really too big of a deal. I think the biggest thing here is just that he wants a body on the board to contest. Yeah, I like that. Hmm, so now maybe it's Chonger's turn to... No, he wouldn't Emperor Thorsan here. He probably could Siphon Soul the Emperor. Siphon Soul does seem like the cleanest way he'd be able to deal with it. Yep. 
pushing some base damage. I think he wants to wait till he has a couple more of the combo pieces left, maybe for Emperor Thorsen. Combos not generally use well, yeah, combos generally use just to pop the block, but it's really tough because you have to pop the block usually like ten. Because you're you're putting so much damage in, so it's really it's kind of an awkward situation. Uh, but he does have one piece at least with the faceless manipulator to reduce with the Emperor Thor's hand. It's gonna be tough finding his combo pieces because like does he really want to tap? He also needs to get closer to his heels though and get closer to his Reno Jackson. Yeah, so, so he might And he wants to save his loath up too. He's like he's like thinking tap the shredder here. Tap, see what he gets. Yeah. Eighteen cards remaining. I know it's a habit of a lot of uh pro players is to just mouse over their cards. Not to see how many they have left, but just because they don't know what else to do while they're thinking. <laughs> You're just like, come on, where are my heels? Hmm. Yeah. Do I really need it right now? I mean, the deck does run quite a few, so. Decide for the Defender of Argus. That's not the play that I expected, but what he's trying to do here is stop the chip damage from coming in from the uh, the Loot Hoarder and the Acolyte of Pain. That three damage really adds up over time. And, especially uh, while you tap. Yeah, especially if you're tapping. So getting that out of the way is really important. And it looks like he... Wow. If that went to the face, it did. Oh, and he, Chong'er doesn't have a heal right now. So this is looking pretty scary. Yeah. And Chong'er once again forgoes the tap. So not getting further in his deck to find the heals. But he does have Lord Jaraxxus. So that's sort of a heal in some situations. But it also makes Reno Jackson a lot worse. It should only be used in emergencies because the maximum health you can ever get to, even with Reno or Heobot, is 15, which is very dangerous against Freeze Mage. You basically give them a permanent Alex Strauss effect. Once again, ping, ping. in the face. <laughs> Let's see if he gets the heal. No. So we might see the Jaraxxus here. Uh, I or the Lothab, possibly. Yeah, I think uh, Lothab makes a little more sense. Drax is, like I said, only in emergencies. I don't think it's an emergency quite yet. Yeah, but as soon as he drops the loath up, handsome guy is just going to go for the... Oh, no, he... No, he would an Alex Traza. Yeah. There's no point. Maybe he'll Alex Traza to heal himself. He still might one. Frost Nova. Yeah. They usually do that. Yeah. Frost Nova wouldn't allow him to push through much, but uh, at this point, handsome guy has... Three effectively fireballs in his deck because he has the natural, the second natural fireball. Oh, oh that's nice. I'd say that's pretty good. <laughs> Do you think he wants to tap before doing that? Yeah. Of course. Uh, there's, I don't think there don't. There's ever a reason not to tap. Mm -hmm. You're healing back to full. And handsome guy is going to be pretty sad to see that. But this is why you keep the Alex Raza. This is the, the finesse that I was talking about. You want to push damage. You want to play aggressively before Alex draws up because that means, oh, and he draws the, the Roaring Torch. Oh, wow. So now there's a lot of outs still left remaining in the deck. And Chonger can't tap still. So he doesn't draw a second heal, so he can't tap. Handsome Guy does have lethal over two turns, and he can weave in his ice block. So the block's going to get popped this turn. Handsome Guy next turn will be able to Ice Block, Fireball the face, and Ping to bring his opponent to 7. And that means Chunga will have to draw into a heal in order to survive the following turn. So it's all going to be on what Chunga draws in the next turn. Handsome Guy also. He could, uh... He could just draw into Lethal himself. If he draws a Frost Bolt. Yeah, exactly. I was thinking that. If he gets a frost ball, it's lethal already. <gasps> <gasps> okay, he's gonna drag this. <sighs> okay, that scared me. Yeah. I I, I forgot about the Drax is <laughs> hiding over there in the bottom left corner. Oh, <laughs> uh, but that actually ruins handsome guy's plan a little bit. Now he has to draw a second piece of burn, but Frostbolt is still going to uh, to be to be it. 
All right, so now this is a tough decision. He's got to play Ice Block this turn. Mm -hmm. so he can and Blizzard. Yeah. No, he doesn't have to. Well, his Ice Block is going to get popped regardless because of the Draxxus weapon. So well, Blizzard true. effectively does nothing. He can Acolyte of Pain, ping. But then he can't Ice Block and play a Burn Spell. And he needs to play a Burn Spell this turn. To have a chance at winning. He could Acolyte, Ice Block, and Fireball Face just to give himself two draws next turn. Ooh, this is really... Let's see what he gets. Oh. He's all in on the Frost Bolt. All right. Well, Chonger can't get him down to one HP. That no matter what. So doesn't matter too much. Yeah, I think he's just gonna end up using his weapon to go for the face. Yeah. Uh, oh. that is actually I don't like that. There's no ice box left in the deck. You're basically. Uh, giving Handsome Guy um, a higher likelihood of drawing into a burn spell by taking an Ice Barrier out of his deck. But dealing with it now also means that you're... Oh, Twisting Nether denies the draw. He needs a Frost Bolt! Oh. Doesn't find it. And uh, there is no secret up, I believe. So that was a nice play from Chonger. Got rid of the draw. Yeah. And I don't think there's any way the handsome guy finds a way out of this. Roaring Torch? Nope. He was just probably only looking for a... No, there's really no way out of it. Yeah. Even with the heal bot, it's not going to do anything. Yeah. Well, Chonger is going to take the first game. And... Yeah. That was a really awesome game. Twisting Nether, unexpected. Yeah. Totally worth it. Really well played by both players, I think. I think Handsome Guy gave himself the uh, best opportunity to win. Um, and that's, you know, impressive uh, in, in that type of matchup. Uh, I don't think either player had any questionable plays. The only thing was uh, Chonger killing the Ice Barrier. Uh, but he, what he was doing was playing around... Um, Chonger being able to sort of, or sorry, Handsome Guy being able to sort of double up with Ice Barriers. But he did give uh, another out over to Handsome Guy, so um, it's a it's a it's sort of a subjective call. But yeah, Chonger taking the first match. First game. High level plays at this point. I would expect nothing less in the lower bracket semifinal. With five players remaining, I would hope that all of them are top-notch Hearthstone players. Especially out of an open bracket that was 200 people. So Chonger has his Mage and Paladin left. Do you know what decks they are? Uh, Freeze Mage and a Murloc Paladin. So, very control heavy style. Oh my goodness. We got ourselves a good old Freeze Mage versus Murloc Paladin. I like it. <laughs> So usually the Murloc Paladin is in favor here, right? I. We have a ton of heal. Yeah, but the heals are hard to use. Um, and basically, the Freeze Mage is never pressured. Uh, so the Freeze Mage can just... Oh. You, you can't pressure and heal at the same time as the Murloc Paladin. So I like the, I like the Freeze Mage in this matchup. Yeah, it's a tricky one, actually. So Chonger's gonna like look for more cards, and <laughs> so is Handsome Guy. Yeah. Both and of them need their cards. Yeah, I think the f the Freeze Mage has a, a a significant advantage as far as card draw goes. I think that each individual card means a lot more to the Freeze Mage than to the Murloc Paladin. Uh, just because uh, um, they can piece together uh, a win faster than the Murloc Paladin can. Because the Warlock Paladin, not only do they have to draw into both Anything Can Happens to win, uh, they also have to um, 
have all their Murlocs die before they yeah. use those. And how can they kill them? They, it's yeah. This is why freeze mage is good because also even if you use both of the anything can happens, a lot of times you can only pop the block at like s at a, a high amount of health, and then the fr what the freeze mage can do is just sit on their doomsayers and sit on their frost novas until after the anything's are played, and then basically the murloc pouch is in a situation where they can never win. Um, and it, it is possible if they can pressure early, if they can find good creatures like, you know, Murloc War Leader that can stick on the board and do repeated damage. And Chonger has two zombie chows, and that's just... He doesn't really want to heal the Freeze Mage. No. But at some point, some points, you have to, like, throw out your cards because mm -hmm. you have too many. Like, you have eight cards, you can't play lay on hands because you'll discard something, and you... If you discard, anything can happen, you pretty much lose. Just using it for the board presence, I suppose. Trying to get some some chip damage in. So we're gonna see the Emperor Thoris in here. It's a lot of value. Not yet. Yeah, looks like he's just gonna wait. Wow, that's oh. a lot of burn that he's going to get reduced with that Emperor Thoris Yeah. Hand. Going with the greedy plays, but it's it's good. Yeah. And the second Zombie Chow. Go, Zombie Chows! Yeah. <laughs> Just trying to get these out of his hand and put some pressure on. So what... Last turn, he didn't play Emperor Thoris in because he was looking for some... He either wanted it to stick on an empty board so he can get multiple turns of value, or he's looking for some specific type of combination. Maybe Alex Straza? Maybe Alex Straza, but in this matchup, you usually have time no matter what, so reducing it to 9 mana effectively doesn't really do anything. Uh, maybe you could Alex Straza and Frostbolt to deny like a True Silver Champion heal, but I mean, that's such like a small, nuanced. Uh, strategy that I don't know if that's like what he would purposefully be going for. Yeah, so holding on onto it once again. Have you encountered this ma matchup before? Yeah, I've, I've I've played quite a bit of this matchup actually. How did it go? Uh, it's I f I feel it from the Murloc Paladin side. It's very hard to win. Just because it's hard to pe it's hard to even if you get both anything can happens and all your Murlocs have died, it's still hard for you to win. Because they'll just freeze your board, and by that, that time, they're already getting close to killing you. And if you give them one extra turn, they do have a lot of heals, but Land Hands is an entire turn for eight points of heal, which is effectively like a little more than one fireball, which is really easy to come by. So they play Alexstrasza, and then you have to lay on hands and leave the Alexstrasza on the board. I think my win rate with this, with, again, with Merlin Pound against Freeze Mage is like less than 40%, which is pretty bad for a ladder deck. Mm. I mean, Handsome Guy has no damage right now to his face, so... Yeah. He's feeling good. Feeling good. <laughs> Looking good, feeling good. <laughs> the face is staying handsome. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Choosing not to land hands this turn, because he just wants to get these out. The only thing Aldor Peacekeepers can hit in this matchup is Emperor Thorsen and Alexstrasza. And he finds the Alex. Perfect timing. And that's not what Chang'er wanted to see because that's pretty much... It's not the nail in the coffin, but it's very close to it. So now he has to... Equality. And heal bot. And heal bot. And use that weapon. 23 is still pretty safe. I don't know if... Wow, he, if he uses it. Oh yeah, you're right. He's fine. Yeah. But we'll see if a handsome guy can piece together enough damage. That's a lot of damage. Blood Mage Thalnos, Roaring Torch, Frostbolt, Ice Lance is 7, 11, 16 damage this turn. And with that, he can actually fit in a ping. So that's 17 damage this turn. And he still has a Power Blast and a Fireball left. So we'd still have 16 damage left even after all of that. Wow. What about if uh, Chonger lays lay on hands on his next turn. Is that still enough damage for a handsome guy to kill him? As long as Chang'er doesn't draw into another heal. Mm. 
That's a handsome face right there. <laughs> that is one handsome guy. Chonger is um, looking quite nervous there. Yeah. Doesn't like the position he's in right now. Yeah. Handsome guy might even just think about pyroblasting face here. Just to get it out of his hand. Yeah, I've seen that happen before. But he's actually just going to wait. He's going to clear the board. Yeah. Chonger's getting a little bit impatient. He's like, okay, just kill me already. <laughs> How many Murlocs have actually died so far? Uh, two Murloc. This is uh, only one Murloc War Leader, and now there's these two on board. Blue Warriors haven't been played. Oh my goodness, that is so much damage. That is nearly all of the burn that he has. So the total amount of damage that Handsome Guy can do is 18, 28, plus 7. 35 total damage sitting in his hand right now. That doesn't even account for the extra damage he can get with the Blood Mage Thalnos. This is it. The Emperor Thorson is going to make everything cheaper. And I wonder how much damage he can he can do next turn with all of his cheapened spells. So 2 plus... He can play all of it. Uh, so that would be 14 plus 7 is 21 uh, plus 9. That's exact, That's 30 damage that he can play next turn. He can turn. even do it with Thalnos. Yeah. So that's what he was waiting for with this with this uh, Emperor Thorsan. So it looks like that's going to be game. Yeah. Plenty of damage. Exactly 30 damage I think Handsome Guy could do this turn. So it looks like he's going to tie it up. And uh, very well played by Handsome Guy. Patient play. Well executed. Yeah, right? He could play all that. Yeah. Yeah. He's just going to double check to make sure he did his math correctly. Can't blame him this far in the tournament. You don't want to lose because of a miscount. So well, I learned <laughs> something today. Murloc Pally is not that great against Freeze. I must have been watching a weird match yeah. <laughs> in the past. Or you listen to Raynad. Because <laughs> Raynad feels like Murloc Paladin's favorite in this matchup. Really? Yeah. But, yeah, that's Handsome Guy tying it up one-to-one -one in the series and uh, getting that freeze mage out of the way. And at the Asia Pacific Championships, the Winter Championships that happened just a few weeks ago, Handsome Guy took second place, um, and he was playing freeze mage at, at that tournament as well. And he just impressed me left and right with that deck. He's got just a, a complete mastery of it. So Wow. Um, yeah. I, I need some practice with my freeze mage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a tough deck. It's one of the toughest in Hearthstone. And Handsome Guy now has, uh, what, Warrior and Druid remaining? I don't remember if his which which of his decks were banned. Um, and Chonger still has the Freeze Mage and still has the Murloc Paladin. And there we go. So Druid was banned, so he does have Warrior and Warlock remaining. I believe Handsome Guy had Patron Warrior, if I remember correctly. Is that his... Okay, yeah. Is that a... Oh, yeah, that's a Rena lock, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I don't remember what Handsome Guy's Warlock was. I think it was Zoo. I guess we'll see Zoo. right now. <laughs> <I know. laughs> yes, it's a Zoo. Yeah. I will fight with honor. Yeah, this matchup's also fun. Zoo against Murloc Pally. Yeah. Zoo can run away with this game fairly mm -hmm. easily. Because a lot of times they make boards that are really hard to remove with the removal that's at the Paladin's disposal. The Doomsayer is nice. So maybe when Handsome Guy sorts of, sort of builds up his board, Chonger can just drop the Doomsayer. Yeah. Even just play it on like turn two or three as a tempo play, because a lot of times... Zoo Warlocks will never hard mulligan for an owl. In almost every matchup. Sometimes you'll keep it against another Zoo Warlock. But, you know, being able to pick up a couple of minions by playing Doomsayer on turn two and stopping uh, in its tracks. Like, it might have been just, yeah, just good right here. Mm -hmm. Handsome Guy's not going to be too phased by it, though. He, he, he can fit in a tap, at least. 
Yeah, there's no point killing it. Enhanceo Meccano. I think the hero power is better than Aldor here, but... I don't know. Would you have saved the Aldor? Or just played it as tempo? Uh, I probably would have just. I probably would have done the same thing. He does have Truce over Champion to sort of protect it, and a one-one doesn't do too much against most of whatever um, the Zoo Warlock's going to play. I like power overwhelming. Oh he yeah! Bring in that damage. That's a lot of burst potential. Old Murka is a fantastic pickup. That's their first Murloc. Double land hands in the hand of Chonger, though, is not what you want to <laughs> see. Oh, man, yeah. that's so awkward. Can't use that yet. Gets a three. Bluegill. All to the face. Come on, Chonger. Hit him in the face. Ah. Uh, I'm disappointed. Yeah, because the imps are going to kill it anyways. So his options here, he can play the Haunted Creeper in the egg yeah. to try and set up for a better defender of Argus. I like that. Um, also, he's got power over wall mings. Uh, his hand is just super weird because he's got both Doom Guards. So yeah, I was <gasps> going to say he might just... Oh, those are actually two pretty good targets. The second power overwhelming sort of just a luxury. And that... Oh, this just lines up so nicely for equality. <laughs> I think he... Yeah, equality... Just to have initiative on the board. It, it's just fine. I mean, I think so. You like equality? Um, It just sucks using it just for one minion. But... Well, it looks like he might not even be playing it if he's going to drop a chow. Yeah, yeah, he's going to try and get Handsome Guy to overextend it's onto this board. Um, yeah, so now Handsome Guy, he's going to try and just uh, try as best as he can to play around AoE removal by putting this egg on the board and applying pressure as well. So now all of a sudden... He well, actually, quality's still full clear because you you kill everything and then you can choose over champion down mm -hmm. the egg, the uh, Nerubian, the, the, the Nerubian, sorry, and then all of a sudden, handsome guy's back to square one, and he he has put on some pressure, put him down to sixteen, but without a board, it's really hard to turn that pressure into you know meaningful anything meaningful into a win. Come on, we're gonna see their quality. Oh, justice. oh. Uh, this is the same. Th this is actually better because he takes less damage. Uh, to oh, his face. right, right. That's yeah. true. I like that. Smart. Very smart. Yeah. So either way, it's the same outcome. The board is completely clear. This way, he just you know takes three less damage. So. This is back and forth, really. Yeah. So he, he's, Handsome Guy's picking up stuff to play on the board, which is good. But he's probably going to have to give up this Enhanceo Meccano mm -hmm. and the Power of a Woman. Because I imagine he's just going to play the Doom Guard. I, I just don't think you can afford to try and hold on to those to try and get additional value. I like the Double Flame Imp and then Enhanceo Meccano. Yeah, you can also Enhanceo. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. And then next turn, you use the Doom Guard with whatever you get. With the Power Overwhelming, yeah. maybe. It could set up a lethal. So Divine Shield is what you want. But at least the Wind Fury one is protected behind the Taunted one. Mm -hmm. That's um, great. And yeah. that could be used with Power Overwhelming and just do so much damage. Yeah. That's 14 damage. Yeah, so this turn is... Because of that enhanced that Wind Fury, Chonger's really, really scared. Um, he saw one Power Overwhelming discarded, but he knows that that was the one from the Dark Peddler. This turn, he really wanted to be able to lay on hands, but if he lay on hands, he can only take out... The flame up with taunt, and then he's staring at yeah he he has the blue gill which is, it doesn't feel great but at least he has the second weapon to equip and follow up with it. Well, the dream is gone for handsome guy. <laughs> yeah, he has 12 damage though, so second power overwhelming would do it. Why do you 
I think you just have to cash in on the power overwhelming right now. Yeah, you could just play both of them right now. Yeah. Because then it's just the thing that I've noticed with Murloc Pallies, it's like they're either clearing or healing that turn. Yeah. And so if he just keeps healing while you keep dealing damage, then. Yeah. Oh. I, actually, this is better because you're you're banking on the fact that your enhancement mechanic is going to attack more than two turns. Because right now you're doing three damage where you otherwise would have done seven, but you're keeping the three two around, which can either trade into the one one, or if it attacks for more than two turns, uh, if it attacks for three turns, all of a sudden it's better than the power of warming anyway. So yeah, this is actually better. I, li I like this play. Yeah. And so now he's going to have repeated damage. He's going to have eight next turn. And Dark Peddler can actually pick up a power of warming anyway. See? See, so Chonger just spent that turn healing, but then now Handsome Guy's just gonna keep laying on the damage. Yeah. And it's gonna get hard, harder for Chonger. Brain Bronze oh. Beard. Oh, good. This is good. So there, there's no potential lethal. Just because. So many uh, even if you picked up double power warming from the Dark Peddler, it'd be 16 damage. I want to see it. Oh, mortal, mortal coil. coil. Oh, gross. Oh, no, that's actually that's, good. Yeah, you can get a free draw. Double mortal coil? <laughs> I think he picked the Argent Squire here. Unless he wants to just get deeper in his deck to find the rest of the power bombings, but Argent Squire is such a good sticky creature. Yeah, like, you need to, like, yeah, get rid of the Divine Shield. He can't just easily clear that. Oh, turn him in a 10D. Oh, I guess this this actually blocks the True Server Champion from being able to kill the brand Bronzebeard, so. Handsome guy is just on point. Consecration and True Server Champion. Do there? No, no, no. Well, it would kill Possibly. off. Those things would kill off four creatures, so it would make Solemn Vigil cost one mana. It already costs two mana just with the Consecrate alone. For justice. And if he kills this, he can play both Solemn Vigils, so basically draw four cards for one for two mana, uh, which is really powerful. The thing is, is he going to pick up a heal bot? Ooh, oh, Aldor is oh, very oh. nice. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this is so crazy. So Lothab's ends actually is a big pickup because it blocks the land hands. It doesn't block the Solemn Vigil, but if you play Solemn Vigil for 10 mana, you can't play anything else. It's still... You can still play uh, Wild Pyromancer and Equality after Love Dev. It becomes a 9 mana combination. Uh, so that's still possible. So and you're then, thinking about dropping the Love Dev now, but then losing every, all your minions? So oh, no, no, no. I, I, for... Oh, yeah, that's right. Because then he's just going to heal for sure next turn. Yeah, I thought that Doomsayer was... Uh, Wild Pyromancer in my head. Hmm. Alright, just Haunted Creeper to make sure that he has something on the board. Oh, this is a Pyromancer lay on hands, probably. Yeah. I like that play a lot. And he can then do Solemn Vigil for free. He would give us Wild Pyromancer, but it might be worth it because that Solemn Vigil is never going to be cheaper. Oh, okay. He Wait. values keeping that around. He didn't want to do Solemn Vigil? He just values his uh, Wild Pyromancer more. Wild Pyromancer actually allows him to have lethal next turn with anything can happen, I believe. I see. Because the, um, if he hadn't played Lothab, it would have been one Murloc Warleader, uh, one Bluegill Warrior, and one uh, Murkai. This is crazy. He's gonna 
Oh, that is a nice consecration. This game is just too exciting. <laughs> Handsome guy is just really running low on health now. He doesn't even have many. <laughs> Seems good. <laughs> he doesn't even have any good cards left. Like, he doesn't have any big stuff left. All right, and Handsome Guy goes ahead and concedes, and that means Chonger takes a two-to-one lead. Nice, nice, nice win. Yeah. He looks pretty nervous. I'd be, too. Is this, this is an important match. What's the point? What's the matchup now? No, I mean, like, the points for uh, each? Two to one. Chonger's up two to one. And the only deck that he has left remaining is his um, his own Zoo Warlock? No, his Freeze Mage. His Freeze Mage. Yeah. So Chonger could either take it here or Handsome Guy could even it out. Yeah, it's actually Malagos Freeze Mage, if I remember correctly. I believe Chonger oh, wow. was the one running Malagos Freeze Mage. So we are going to jump into the match, and it is going to be... Uh, Chonger's Freeze Mage versus Handsome Guy's Patron Warrior. This matchup is pretty tough for the Patron Warrior. Unless they have Armor Smith with their Patron Warriors. That's true. And then they just armor up a lot. Yeah. That is just really hard. It still becomes tough against the Malagos Warlock because Malagos Warlock. Uh, or sorry, Malagos Freeze Mage. Um, their potential maximum burst is a lot higher than normal Freeze Mage. So they can push through the uh, the extra armor a lot better than other Freeze Mage variants can. We can't see what the secret is. <laughs> oh, we'll see maybe later. Yeah, we'll see very quickly. He doesn't want to put his mouse over it. He doesn't even care. <laughs> He doesn't even care what it is. <laughs> he said, I guess I'll figure it out eventually, too. Uh, but this is going to be both. And it is ice block. And now there's going to be an ice barrier. This is a really good start for, for Chonger. He's got mm -hmm. both his secrets up. So that means his deck is thinned out. So the average quality of his draw is going to be a little bit better. And now I can just start drawing more cards. There's like three versions of the Freeze Mage, huh? There's a Malagus one, there's an Antonitis one, and there's a Pyroblast version, isn't there? Or does the Pyroblast go with the Antonitis one? Pyroblast is in most, but not Malagos. Usually Malagos replaces a Pyroblast. Mm -hmm. um, there's a Torch Freeze. Um, then there's Standard Freeze, which has Healbot plus Antonitis. Torch Freeze doesn't run Antonitis or Healbot. And then there's Malagos Freeze. Which one is the best, though? And what? Why are there so many? A lot of players think right now that the uh, Torch Freeze is the best uh, because it, it prob is the one pr that probably has the strongest matchup against Druid, which is one of the most popular decks in the format right now. It also does really well against Reno Lock because you can burst out players a lot quicker. Uh, you, you, you don't have like a linear win condition. You have multiple win conditions. You can use Alexstrasza and then burn your opponent, or with Forgotten Torches, you can just burst them out before that. Yeah, I know Laughing HS uses the, the Torch as Torch Freeze, yeah. Yeah, he plays that one a lot. Yeah, but Malagos uh, ma uh, Freeze Mage is the one that's the best against the slowest metas because it's got the maximum potential damage if given enough time. That's a lot of armor. Yeah. Double Armor Smith. He wants to get rid of that. Yeah. This is that situation that you're talking about. The double armor smith is <laughs> is how you win. Armoring up every turn and making sure that you get value out of double armor smith. Or what if you get Justicar early also? Oh, well, they don't run Justicar. They don't. Yeah. Well, there's some patrons that run Justicar, but it's very rare. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, I'm always very <laughs> angry when I see patron warriors running Justicar. <laughs> we have enough tank ups in the world already. So now, Blizzard would give Handsome Guy four armor plus another, f no, would give eight armor plus another four armor. Blizzard would give them 12 armor and still leave around double armor smiths. Doesn't have a doomsayer, so he can't get rid of these armor smiths. Nope. Ooh. Oh, 
He may just have to pass and just flame strike next turn. Yeah. Because you don't want to put out like any sort of minion out. Yeah. Torch face. <gasps> this is actually good uh, because he's getting rid of some of the armor right away. Um, or getting rid of the potential armor that handsome guy could gain next turn when he flame strikes. So, I like that play. Yeah, because he, he's going to whirlwind right now. And sometimes, even if you give your... Even if the patron warrior gets a lot of armor smith later on in the game, um, or a lot of armor from the armor smiths early in the game, at least as a freeze mage, you know that you have the peace of mind that you know exactly how much damage you need, or how much healing you need to play around. Because you're like, well, even if he has armor, he can't have armor smiths anymore because he's used them. Yeah. So like knowing like the, all the armor smiths gone would be like really good. Yeah. Okay, so we might see the flame strike here now. Or yeah. Where is this? Actually, yeah, this is good. Oh, so he's saving his flame strike for the patrons, of course. Mm -hmm. Feels bad, man. <laughs> it indeed feels bad when a patron warrior has 23 armor and you're freezing. You mage. only saw like four letters. I can't believe you knew that was feels bad, man. <laughs> Me and whoever that guy is, we think a lot alike. <laughs> All right, well, now Chunger knows that uh, he's got to put together an incredible combination of burst damage if he's going to want to win this game. It's going to be tough. 50 health he's got to get through. <laughs> I was just about to say that. That's a lot of HP. Can they? Do they even have? What's the total amount of damage a a freeze mage has? Well, a, f a freeze mage Malagus. Well, he also has Archmage Antonidas, so technically his damage is infinite. Mm. So that's what. That's his winning condition. His maximum damage is infinite. That's if your opponent literally does nothing after you play your Archmage Antoninus, but it is theoretically possible. Malagos makes it um, possible even without Archmage Antoninus, but he's going to need the sickest Emperor Thorsan of his life. And uh, he, not only does he have to draw into all that stuff, but he also has to worry about the pressure that Handsome Guy is going to put out. And now that he's used a Blizzard, uh, he does. that's one less answer that he has for patrons. But he'll have Frost Nova Doomsayer, he'll have Flame Strike, so... Um, he, well, well met. met. <laughs> there we go. Alex Straza. We know that, um, well, Handsome Guy is saving his executes. So he probably has, he may he maybe even know, know that Chonger is using a Malagas Freeze Mage. He has Based to know past, at this point. Yeah, past matches. Yeah, I think, so the, I think this is actually a rematch also. I think these guys played each other at some point. Yesterday, maybe, because there we saw uh, a Reno Lock versus Freeze Mage, and not many people are running Freeze Mage, and not many people are running Reno Lock. So, I want to say it's a rematch. And this late in the tournament, rematches aren't too uncommon, especially down in the lower bracket, because you can knock someone down in the lower bracket, lose your next match, and then all of a sudden you have to play them again. So, Surfing Limergleton's probably not getting played this game. And this is nice. This is a nice turn, and he's gonna whirlwind and make that frothing berserker grow. Oh no, he's not gonna whirlwind. He's gonna save it. Yep, he does get a whirlwind effect from the unstable ghoul, so you don't want to overextend too much. Mm -hmm. He's gonna execute the. But this is perfect now for Chonger's flame strike. Now it's only 43 health. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Chonger's hand's actually really bad, though. Really bad. He has absolutely no burn. He doesn't have Archimedes Antoninus. Even if he draws Emperor Thor's in, it's not the best hand for that. He actually could have Blood Mage... No, I'm sure he was saving his blood mage, Thalanos. 
He could have Blood Mage and Blizzard there, but I'm sure he's saving it for better things. Mm -hmm. Blood Mage, Blizzard, Blizzard well, could deal with the second wave of patrons. Well, there is starting to piece together some burn, but he's got uh, quite a few turns before he's going to be able to start throwing damage spells at the face. And I don't know if Charn can afford to use the burn spells on... Minions. On, yeah, things like Powder Shredder. He needs all the damage he's, he can get. And even if he, he doesn't use that Frostbolt as damage, that Frostbolt could later turn into a Fireball with Archmage Antonitis. He could just play the heal bot then. But then, oh, the weapon's just gonna hit it. Yeah. Hmm. He also needs to just get stuff out of his hand so he can actually play Acolyte and ping it and draw further into his deck. Ooh. I feel like he's going to run out of damage. The thing is, Patron Warriors can also run out of damage. Because not a lot of, especially since Handsome Guy is running Diversion with Powder Treaders, not a lot of their stuff does direct damage. They have weapons, and then they have Grom Hellscream. All the rest of their cards are support cards. And since Freeze Mage is so easily deal with boards full of Patrons, it can be really hard for Patron Warriors to, you know, finish off the game. So a lot of times this matchup does come down to fatigue if the... Freeze Mage doesn't win the game super early. Just because both players draw a lot, um, and both players, you know, have a lot of spells that do nothing on their own. We're, we're seeing some damage already, um, some spells going to the face already from Chonger. <laughs> He's got to get rid of that armor at some point. Might as well start now. <laughs> and he needs to start getting stuff out of his hand, too. This is a really long game. Yeah. Was that eight and eight? Are they exactly even? Is in the uh, card draw war there? Eight and eight. <laughs> He's oh, going so fast. Do it again, Chonger. One more time for me. <laughs> I missed that. I was just looking at the the health of uh, the warrior. <laughs> it's just there's a lot of armor there. Yeah. Ah, oh, what does handsome guy even do in this turn? I mean, he has a Surf Finley, and he doesn't even want to change his hero power. No. He loves his armor, you know? Yeah. He's going to overdraw him. Oh. So this is going to be a big deal. He's getting him closer to fatigue, and he's getting rid of his, his uh, draw spells. So what is he going to overdraw? This is going to be big. It's <gasps> Archmage Antonitis. Oh, my gosh. That is – that's got to hurt. Yeah. <sighs> this, this – Now he doesn't have infinite – damage anymore. No, doesn't seem good. No. Seems bad. Where's the feels <laughs> bad man guy? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, now his damage is not infinite. Now he has a very limited amount of damage. So Chonger has to play the fatigue game now. What's his winning condition now? His win condition is just surviving through fatigue, which is going to be very hard. He has to hit the perfect Malagos, and he has to do enough damage. Now he's two cards behind a Fatigue as well. Uh, because Handsome Guy um, used uh, his Slam as you know a way Inner to rage. burn the card. So Inner rage also. That was a super risky play from Handsome Guy, though, because that could have burned a card that was just didn't matter. But Handsome Guy doesn't really have any many cards that do stuff anymore. <laughs> yeah, he just has a Finley. He's got weapons, it's so he's... the only minion out there. Yeah. Chong are so sad. The absolute worst card in the deck to have burnt at this stage. So there, we, there is no worse card than that. Well, Chonger knows that Handsome Guy has one execute left, and he doesn't want to put out his Malagas yet, just yeah. yet. What other card can a Handsome Guy execute? Uh, Emperor Thorsan. That's the only one. See, Handsome Guy, Battle Rage is basically a dead card because at this point you know that this match is coming down to fatigue. And Handsome Guy is basically going to be net gaining one health a turn because the armor up's going to negate the ping. So. 
Dr. Boom. I don't know if putting out that Doomsayer is the right call. Yeah, it was almost as if he was just putting it out so he has uh, room for more cards. Yeah, but I think maybe a Frost Nova is actually a better card to give up. Because that was his second Doomsayer, so... He just picked up the Frost Nova now, though. Frost Nova, not Frost Nova. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, Frost. Yeah, I think that, that could have been a play that he made last turn. Just because that Doomsayer, it could be used to... He knows that what threats are left. He knows that there's a Dr. Boom, which could be dealt with Doomsayer uh, Frost Nova. And he knows that there's a wave of patrons left. Almost out of cards. And Emperor... Yeah, you're right. He has no way to deal with this uh, Dr. Boom now. Yeah. I just don't think Chonger's going to win, even if this matchup goes to fatigue. He has the Roaring Torch now. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So He's even... deal with it later. Yeah. Even this, like the maximum amount of damage he could do with Malagos now would be Malagos, Frostbolt, Ice Lance, Ice Lance. Uh, which would be a total... <gasps> There's the Execute. It's gone. It's out of the picture. But the handsome guy has a few minions now. He's got the Lothab. That is the last card. That's not a good last card. It's not. <laughs> so Chonger can Malagos, Blood Mage, Thalnos. Frostbolt. No, I don't think you want to play the Blood Mage down. So get you close to <gasps> fatigue. And he concedes. There's just no way he, he comes back and wins that one. So Handsome Guy ties it up 2-2. Two two. Oh, it's getting really exciting. What are the last two decks? It's going to be uh, Freeze Mage. Malagos Freeze Mage versus Zoo Warlock? Yeah. I think so. That's a, that's a good matchup, too. Yeah. Anything can happen there. Yeah. It is slightly Freeze Mage favored, but the Malagos Freeze Mage is pro I don't know. Malagos Freeze Mage is decent because it has Flame Strike. And Power Blast usually isn't uh, utilized very much in that matchup anyway. I just really want to see Malagos come down. We didn't see him come down. We saw him earlier today. Chonga won a game with Malagos earlier today. I like Malagos because I don't own one, so I really want one. I have a golden one. What? The only golden dragon I have is a Nosdormu, and it's useless. Yeah. One day, I decided that that day was going to be a day where I made poor decisions. And I disenchanted a lot of legendaries and crafted an, a full golden Malagos rogue deck. Wow. And I played it three times, and I haven't played it since. <laughs> so it wasn't worth it. It was not worth it. <laughs> Ooh. I like the egg can use the abusive on it later. Yeah. So Chonger looks kind of nervous here. Actually, he doesn't even want it. Actually, yeah, he doesn't want to use the abusive on it because the Blizzard's just going to kill it anyways. Yeah. There's not really much to trade up into in this matchup also. Maybe like a mad scientist or something like that, but a lot of times you just want the egg on the board as sort of insurance. Like, I got something there in case he clears my board. Yeah. Imp gang boss. Do you know if Handsome Guy runs Sea Giants? Yeah. Uh, he does. So At least one. The Enhanso on the Sea Giant could be really scary. Well, Handsome Guy has, you know, some key cards that can really do a lot of work in this matchup. And that's Lothab and, and like you said, that Enhanso Mechano. Because Enhanso Mechano can make a lot of damage come out of nowhere. You get Wind Fear in one thing, all of a sudden an Abusive Sergeant and a Power Bewombing make, make it so that you can do you know, upwards of 20 damage in a single turn on a relatively small board. Right. So. Alex Straza can sometimes be a good card in this matchup. A lot of times it's used defensively because the Warlock usually taps themselves down into range by the time you're able to play it anyway, but he has it in his hand early. Tap and Creepers. Yeah. I don't think you want to use Enhanced Mechano on a board this small. Mm -hmm. 
second egg. A lot of blizzard insurance. And it's kind of tricky too sometimes. You don't want to fill your board as a zoo. I've seen some people do really crazy stuff like, like damaging the flame imp breaking the creepers just to fill out the whole board and mm -hmm. then they can't just the zoo player can't put anything down anymore yeah it's true means they can't play low with them i think that's what he's doing now oh no he's not <laughs> no just has the spell power oh gormok four damage to the face But Enhanced Mechano is going to be the... <laughs> no Wind Fury! But it, the egg has a taunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Consolation prize. The egg has a taunt. And uh, now Handsome Guy was hoping that something was going to get Wind Fury because then the Abuse Sergeant would get extra value. Uh, that's why he didn't play it before the Enhanced Mechano. So, so, what do you think the freeze mage with uh, Chonger is going to do here? It's probably draw. You're, you're, the board isn't too threatening right now. It's six, seven, eight damage, and Blizzard. After you Blizzard, you still leave, you know, four damage up plus the Haunted Creeper. So, you're not taking away that much damage. You could use this turn to develop an Ice Block, and draw. Yeah, they're really taking their time to, you know, make sure they're doing the right decisions. Oh yeah, Frost Nova Doomsayer, Blizzard into Frost Nova Doomsayer, or the opposite, is pretty strong. So Lothab is a card that you want to use to protect a really powerful board, and right now the board's not really powerful. It's moderately powerful. You could drop the egg. Yeah. Could Gormok an egg and trade in the Abuse of Sergeant so he has room on the board. Yeah, I like that. Uh, you're it's pretty easy in this matchup to have more than four four minions. Uh, so you're, you're, you'll probably still have time to, to get that Gormok in. But it is a, it is a strong body. Loathe oh, he's now. going for the low up. Wow. I guess he likes his the minions on the board. So he's pushing a lot of damage. Is he setting up for a next turn lethal? So he has six, seven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen with Gormok the Impaler being eighteen. Oh, really? Yeah, did I count wrong? But Healbot is the best card. Oh no, it's 18. You're right. That you can play after a Lothab because it heals you back up. And now Lothab's gone, so that's peace of mind from Chonger. He doesn't have to worry about playing around the Lothab from now on. Making sure to trade off some creatures to make room on the board for more stuff. But this board is still going to be pretty susceptible to the m to the multiple board wipes that Chonger has at, at his disposal with the Doomsayer plus Frost Nova and also the Blizzard. I can't believe Chonger is still at 26 HP. Yeah, the heal bot does work. <laughs> Archmage Antonitis. He betrayed him last game. Doomsayer. Yeah. So he's going to have two Creepers and the Nerubian left. He should just drop the egg. Yeah, I like that. Making sure you have a lot of damage on the board. It's sort of, uh, you could also use that egg as Blizzard insurance once again. But at this point, Handsome Guy realizes that he needs to have stuff on the board. And I, w I wouldn't drop the Creepers, not just yet. Well, if his plan is to have as much stuff on the board as possible, the creeper sort of fits in with the game plan that he went for, but... He's a blizzard. Yeah. 
Ooh, another doomsayer. He could just Alex Straza. He might draw more or Alex Straza here. Using Arcane Intellect would allow him to Blizzard and still stop some of this damage. He could also Blizzard Doomsayer, but it's not that threatening of a board once Blizzard's used. He doesn't have Burn to finish the game, so Alex Straza um, here is, you know, you're still going to use it regardless, yeah, most I like likely. Ale yeah, I like Alex Straza. So then the turn after, he can just start using his spells with his Antonitis. Yeah. Maybe he wants to find the burn first before he plays Alex Straza, just to ensure that he'll have that win condition. In which case, he would want to play the Arcane Intellect. Hmm, he's gonna go for the Blizzard. And this ensures that he plays Alex Straza onto an empty board. Unless an Owl comes out. Uh, this makes it so that uh, Handsome Guy won't even have an answer to Alex Straza once it's used if he doesn't pick up an owl, and he doesn't. So that might even just, like, lock things up. Because how is Handsome Guy going to deal with, uh, one, being at 15 HP, and two, having an 8 on the board? Mm -hmm. He's got to drop the creepers here. Yeah. It's not a good spot, but... Yeah, it's just the creepers is the only thing he can do here. Yeah. And I'm absolutely sure that Alex Straws is going to be whipped out of the hand. Flame Strike picked up as well, but I don't think it's even going to matter because Handsome Guy needs to pick up a Defender of Argus. Power Overwhelming would even allow him to push through the, the Direwolf Alpha. With the Direwolf Alpha, he, he just needs something. Yeah, he needs to take down this Alex Straza. Implosion would have to roll decently and have some juggles to hit for him to trade off because he needs. He would have to do a combination of. Uh, he would have to do four damage to it with the Direwolf Alpha after the trades. Mm -hmm. All right, well, Power Overwhelming. He also has Gormok the Impaler. But he oh, yeah, right. That's true. So Gormok would allow him to trade off here. Nice. Ooh, that lines up quite nicely into a, a little card called Flame Strike. <laughs> gonna, is he gonna draw here or torch? There we go. And now Handsome Guy knows that that's a burn spell in the hand, so. Uh, if I was Chonger, I would Torch Face just because I already Flame Strike and I don't want to give to my opponent that I drew last <laughs> on this turn. <laughs> so I would cover up my misplay with a... Uh, you already pointed at Handsome Guy's face with something, so... Yeah, and Handsome Guy is just playing so quickly now. He, he knows that this game is pretty much in the bag. There's no way that he's going to push through 23 health plus an Ice Block turn. There's not much burn that he needs to draw into. That's 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 13 exactly. Wow. If I counted correctly. Oh, well, he also has Iceland, so that's a lot more than 13. And that's going to be Chonger taking the series and moving on through the Losers Bracket Finals. Unfortunately, that means Handsome Guy has been eliminated from the tournament. Good job on both sides. The Singapore Major just got a lot less handsome. <laughs> That's for dang sure. But a big congratulations to Chonger. That was a well-played series all around. Uh, some high-level games. So what are the next matches coming up? Oh, man, we're just going to go. We're keep going through the, to, through the lower bracket. Uh, Reptile's still hanging out down there. Uh, Waning Moon's still waiting for an opponent. It's Reptile versus Waning Moon? Uh, Reptile versus, I think, the, the winner of this matchup. And then the winner of that plays Waning Moon. Okay. I think that's what it is. Uh, but we'll, we'll have to see uh, moving in. Uh, but yeah, really well played series, uh, and still a few more matches remaining uh, on the rest of the day before we crown a victor here at the Singapore Major. Uh, but we are going to go to a quick break before we jump into the next uh, lower bracket uh, semifinal, or maybe lower bracket final. Uh, so don't go anywhere, guys. Quick break before we jump into the next match. More Singapore Major action right after this. <laughs> 